Okay, in this lecture, I'm gonna show you how to change the colors of this gift right there, which is also the same process as changing the colors for these icons right here as well. But I'm just gonna do this one just for the sake of learning how to do it, okay? So, go back to your source code, and at the root, if you look for the graphics folder, you will see inside the iPad slices and iPhone slices. I want you to expand it, just right click there, on the iPhone slices one and show in Finder. Obviously, you will have to do that for the iPad as well, okay? But right now, I'm just showing you for the iPhone. But this is the exact same process for the iPad. All right, so click on the iPhone slices and make sure you put this view so you can see the items within, okay? So all of these are just PNG files, okay? That, that are part of the, um, the uh, game source code graphic assets. All right, so we technically have to look for the gift, okay? So um, take a look at the gifts on the iPhone simulator. So it's basically a white gift with a blue outline, and that's the one we're gonna need to change, all right? So um, that's a, that looks about being the right one, okay? So we're gonna change this one. There's the Retina display, that's the Add to X, and the non-Retina display, that's just packages, okay? So packages and packages Add to X. So I'm just gonna open the packages at 2x.png and modify this one only, okay? Open with Adobe Photoshop. Now, if you do not have Adobe Photoshop, don't worry about it. You can always get it online. You, uh, there's like a monthly fee that you can pay to just to be able to use it. Or you can use one of uh, the equivalent, which is totally free. It's called gimp.org, okay? You go there, you download it. It works on Linux, um, Unix machines, Windows uh, computers and obviously Mac computers, okay? Just click on download and there's plenty of tutorials online, but it's exactly the same process as what we are doing there. All right. So once I see this, what I'm going to do is click on the uh, eyedropper. With, and the shortcut is the eye key, okay? But I'm just going to show you by clicking on the eyedropper. It's uh, right here, okay? And I'm going to select the blue color right here, okay? So just click on the blue. Then I'm going to do image adjustment replace color. Okay. And I'm going to replace this one and I'm going to play with the hue. Okay. So as you can see, as I'm moving the hue, it's changing the color of the item there. So I'm going to go with something that's in the orange grade. Okay. Just right there. That's good enough. Okay. And uh, what I'm going to do is press OK and I'm done with that. Just for the sake of it, I'm going to select the black color. Okay. And I'm going to paint the inside from being white to being black. I know it's not going to be that good looking, but it's just to show you how it works. All right. I'm just going to do that right here. Okay. And that's going to be enough. Now, what I'm going to do is save this file, save for web. Okay. And I'm going to replace the other one. Okay. Make sure you save it as a PNG 24 file. Okay. Click on save. And once you do that, you need to overwrite the file in the source code. So go to Xcode pro to your project source code. Um, you probably don't have the exact same path as me because uh, we didn't save it at the same uh, place. But um, mine is inside of puzzles folder. So I gotta look for puzzles. Where is it? For some reason, I can find it. Give me a second. There it is. Puzzles. Okay. Words app fresh. That would be inside of graphics. iPhone slices. And that's where it needs to be saved. Packages at 2x. Okay. So graphics, iPhone slices. Save. It's going to ask you, you sure you want to replace? Yes, replace. All right. Now we're going to save it without the add 2x. So half the size for non retina display. File. Save for web. And right there, we're going to do percent. 50%, so half of it, and save, all right? And we're going to replace the packages without the add to X and click on save, okay? Replace, all right, so I'm just going to stop here. That's enough. Now, we can go back to Xcode. Now, what you need to do in Xcode is do a product clean, very important. If you do not do a product clean, then what's going to happen is that your uh, changes will not be um, you will not be able to see your changes, okay? So do a product clean and then click on run, all right? So that might take a little bit longer because it basically needs to take all the files to and, comp and compress them together, okay? But uh, just bear with me and we will be able to see our new changes, 
All right. So meanwhile, what it's building, I'm going to show you that the other files on the home screen are obviously the uh, settings and uh, the uh, the money currency one. So just look for them in the finder. It's pretty straightforward to find them. So look for the um, the settings one. Um, obviously, the settings is called settings. Where is it? I don't see it right now. There it is. Okay. So obviously you have the settings navbar at two x, and so that's the retina and the non retina. Okay. And uh, this one is the settings when it's paused, so you can change the color or you can just leave it the way it is. Okay. And let's look for the money one. Okay. So this is the money one, and this is when it's not paused. Okay. So that's the one you need to to change. Store navbar. Okay. So you can just edit this one in Photoshop. So let's go back to the code and see what's going on. Okay, so right now it's building. Okay, so it's uh, compiling and um, hopefully this is going to be done uh, very soon. Okay, so just bear with me and we're going to be able to see our changes. All right, so now it's uh, launching the um, game in the iPhone simulator. And uh, let's see. And there we go. As you can see, this is our new icon. Instead of being uh, blue, it's um, orange with a black stripe in the middle. Okay, so that's it. We're done. It's that easy. Now let's move to.